Hi, my name is Annette. Welcome to this new format, Lunch and Learn. With this new format, we want to provide you with learning nuggets for a daily business to learn a little bit more just in 15 minutes. And today I will talk to Pradeep Tarakan, our, our senior IT project manager, about how we apply the Spotify approach while working agile at Billfinger Digital Next. Hi, Pradeep. Welcome to the session. Hi, Annette. Thanks for having me here. But let me tell you a quick story up front. Um, I was a project manager for a big website project a few years ago. And um, the organization, the team, but also myself, we were quite used to the classical waterfall approach. So we had quite clear system specifications. We had a project management plan, milestones, responsible sub teams, and so on. Um, so we set ourselves um, a three months time frame for the next steps to accomplish. But whenever we would come together and uh, look at what we've done the last three months, we were quite frustrated because things just turned out to be much more complex and we just didn't achieve what we were hoping for. So we shortened the time frame from three months to four weeks. But again, um, we would come together and we would see, um, okay, things are quite um, hard and complex and uh, the expectations actually grow while you keep on working on more details. So the process was just not satisfying. And actually it also turned out to be to become a pro bu bu budget problem. So we moved from a four week to a two week approach. And one could almost say this is like a two week sprint planning, planning then. Um, so, and then while moving forward, we will learn a lot and we would um, learn how, we, how much we can achieve within those two weeks and it become more transparent and actually more planable. So would you say that this is a classical um, situation where you would definitely dismiss the waterfall approach and move to an agile working style? Yeah, so I wouldn't say at the beginning this is uh, the wrong approach. Well, waterfall projects still have its right to exist. I mean, let's take, for example, regulatory projects where an organization gets notified that a specific report has to be delivered at a certain point of time. But there are also project scenario of hybrid projects so it's a combination of waterfall and an agile approach, which means a part of the working packages are delivered in a classical waterfall approach. And the outstanding part, uh, part by Scrum, which is also described, for example, in Scrum Frame. Okay, I see. So you're responsible and owning the agile working process at Bilfinger Digital Next. You've been working for Deutsche Bank before and for various consultancy. So to, be, to come close, uh, uh, straight to the point, why did you choose the Spotify approach um, for building a digital next and digital developments? I think before we go uh, into detail why the Spotify model has been chosen, I think it is important for the audience to understand uh, what the setup of building a digital next looks like. At digital next, we enable successful digital transformation of our clients in the process industry with state-of-the-art digital solutions and our deep understanding for the industry. So what you see here is, you can see on the left side, we have product development, where we develop our digital solutions. And on the other side, the projects where we launch our solutions at our customer sites. So altogether, an indisciplinary team is required to get a full customer-centric view to develop and to deliver the digital solutions. Okay, I see. So actually, maybe it's not that different from what others uh, do in technical companies, except that, of course, we have the deep knowledge of the complex processes in the process industry. Um, but then what made you choose the um, Spotify approach um, for us to use and what does it really mean? Mm -hmm. So from the scratch, there was never the doubt about if our way of working should be agile or not. The question which uh, popped up was more or less like, okay, which framework suits us best and is mostly feasible and suiting our culture and our way of working. So there are a handful of frameworks which are known already to the agile community, such as the SAFE framework, for example, which is based on the lean approach. You have Scrum at scale, Nexus framework from Ken Schwaber, the discipline agile delivery, and the fifth one is a, a large scale Scrum. And at Spotify, which is a music and a video streaming platform from, from Sweden, they used different sorts of agile methods, yeah, but didn't found the one which best suits for them. 
and trying out new things, merging things together, trying out new things, they ended up with this own organizational model, which is now called uh, Spot. So for, for me, it's more or less an extension to existing agile frameworks with the difference that you want to keep them more autarkic and self-organized. And that's why you mostly see them also in large scale companies. Uh, so Spotify is large scale company. Is that the reason they developed the approach and used it? Yeah, exactly. So the main goal is to set up the different development squads, which we uh, call in the Spotify language squads. But there is a specific uh, character. Yeah, um, mainly they are uh, enabled to steer themselves. But the good thing is they are still part of the bigger organization. Yeah, so which is sort of a, uh, a safe area where you can try out new things as well. But the special strength of the Spotify, Spotify model lies in the setup of the squads, having cross-divisional team members who have then the required specialized knowledge and skill set to develop, whether it's a product or to provide the necessary service to our customers. And due to this setup, you will not find it a team lead anymore, but it still requires a product owner, which you have also in the classical agile way, who still gives the prioritization. But starting talking about uh, squads already, let me give you a small overview what a squad actually is and which four Spotify groups we have introduced at Dillfinger, Dillfinger Digital Next. So the first group, what you see here, is focusing, uh, focusing on the implementation. So in the agile world, the squads are seen as, uh, as development teams. In addition to the squad, we have the tribes, which are there to define the vision and the tactics of a product. The third group are the guilds. Those, on our, those are our roundtables of experts who share the knowledge and define new standards for Digital Next. We have, for example, the Azure Machining Learning Guild, uh, one guild for architects, where the architects come together uh, from the different squads to ensure that every development fits into our Digital Next architectural landscape. And finally, the chapters. I think this will be probably the easiest one to remember because these are formally known as departments and uh, the team uh, are the teams of experts. And with these new Spotify groups, additionally, the roles had to come into place, named as a tribe elder, mostly known as a product owner, uh, or the guild master, uh, for example, leading the guild meetings. So introducing the agile change uh, to digital next helped, on the one hand, the organization to elaborate, elaborate and refine the focus. And on the other hand, employees feel actually they are being part of something bigger again yeah we all see it in our private lives when we join for uh, sport clubs for example or associations you want to find uh, like-minded people and here is the same thing with being part in the spotify group there comes the identification with the identification comes the ownership and with the ownership the responsibility and the most important thing for us the commitment which we require these are all needed characteristics to focus on the output. Oh, okay, I see. So you're building like subgroups um, working together. So you mentioned Spotify is mostly used in large scale companies. How could it then possibly suit a smaller corporate startup like Billfinger Digital Next? Yeah, you're right, Annette. We don't have the size of the Spotify music platform, nor we have uh, reached the size of 1000 plus employees. And that's why it's so important to tailor the Spotify framework to our needs. I mean, there are thousands of organizations outside who are looking how to restructure to an agile organization. My recommendation would be to people out there, don't, don't forcefully try to wrap frameworks over your organization. See it as if you go into a restaurant offering a huge buffet and choose what is best for your organization and culture. And that's what we did. So on the next slide, you can see if you get if you want to get familiar with the Spotify approach yourself, you will see the setup looks different from what we did at uh, at BDN. As mentioned, we have tailored it according to our needs and to our culture. So what you see here are uh, the different squads. We have uh, different squads for each of our developments of, of our products. And where do the squad member squad members originally come from? Every squad member is uh, part of a specific chapter. 
yeah and the chapters uh, uh, chapters offers their members to the different squads whether it's an architect whether it's data scientists whether it's consultants and with these setups we try to enable them as mentioned before to a mini startup i mean we have therefore also defined a set of guidelines to avoid, avoid unnecessary discussions about procedures and about process, processes i mean this is specifically beneficial uh, beneficial if a member from one squad is moving to another squad because this ensures also higher efficiency i see that's quite interesting so you have these little small mini startups within the the company but uh, how do you ensure that the squads are actually acting according to the company goals then yeah that's a good question so on a monthly basis the product owners of each squad come together and they develop the roadmap and which also map to the strategic direction of the organization and based on the roadmap the product owners create the necessary backlog items which are then considered in the next uh, sprint iterations for each of the squads okay it looks a bit complex to the outside outsider but keep in mind that the squads are responsible for the development the chapters are actual the specialist um, the tribes define the vision and the uh, guilds share the knowledge and uh, to experts and look at this last and looking at this last overview it's becoming quite clear um, so what if um, our audience would now decide uh, that they want to implement the spotify approach what would be your advice to do so yeah, so there I would recommend actually four things. Um, first one is, uh, I mean, this goes to all, to entire management, but also to the product owners. First one is transparency is a key. Employees need to understand the mission so that they know what they are working for. People nowadays are pretty much looking for a purpose. Secondly is the belief in the product. Make them believe, yeah? That's why the transparency is so important. Third one is Rome wasn't built in a day. You cannot change an entire organization with just a finger snap. So consider small steps, regular retrospectives, and learning loops to develop and to turn better from time to time. The fourth and last thing is uh, resilience. So resilient organizations have the ability to react very quickly and focus on changing customer behaviors and technological progress and are therefore quickly able to adapt. I think especially from last year onwards, last year's onwards, you could see with the uh, corona pandemic, pandemic that those who are resilient organization and could react very quickly have a better chance to exist and uh, yeah, to stay focused. I see. Thank you very much for, for these insights. Uh, that was very interesting. And I invite everyone also to check out our other lunch and learn formats on our website and also other webinars we are running and have been running in the past. Um, well, yes, thank you, Pradeep, and uh, speak to you soon. Have a nice day. Thank you. Take bye. care. Bye-bye.